Finally, in Real Estate Loans 12.5, for determining monthly payments on a home, preparing a prepayment schedule, escrow accounts, defining fixed and variable rates, as well as understanding your credit score. Real Estate Amortization Table is provided for you here. This is based upon term and years and percentages. As we look at different examples here, we're identifying making a day payment, identifying the cost of a loan, and our monthly payments. In this case here, we're using our interest equals PRT to help us identify the amount of interest. By calculating our interest, overall number of years and terms, we can then calculate the monthly payment as demonstrated here. Please note that many times real estate loans will also require things such as embedded tax, embedded insurance, and even mortgage insurance. Understanding your credit score is important. This talks about your FICA score, ranging from 300 to 850 and breaking down credit worthiness. This is definitely calculated when it comes to your ability to access credit. Things taken into consideration are such as payment history, amount owed, length of credit history, new credit, and types of credit in use. There are also some tips to help improve your FICA score. There's also many programs out there to assist you with your credit or monitor. Remember, free credit reports are due to you every year, as well as programs such as Credit Karma to help you better understand and manage your credit. Let's look at some example problems now. In 12.5 and real estate loans, it will begin by identifying a monthly payment. In this case here, identifying the number of payments, 12 months in a year, over 15 years, the interest rate, and the amount of the loan. In this case here, we're simply calculating our payment based upon these figures. Examples are here for you. Monthly payment for three, four, and five. We also will practice total monthly payments, including taxes and insurance for the following loans. These are added to a monthly payment. So 1280 divided by 12, annual insurance divided by 12 will give you the amount that will be added monthly to your payment based upon the values being given. The amount of the loan times the interest rate, plus the terms of the loan, annual taxes, and insurance. Examples are once again provided for you here. Remember to use the tables appropriately. Home insurance and home costs will definitely impact a mortgage. This is an example here of identifying the loan amount a monthly payment, and total payments based upon those added expenses. This is an example of a condominium purchase. Given the same values, calculations, and formulas. In this case here, June and Bill borrow 122.5 on a duplex. 7.5% for 15 years. Using the table, identifying the value, and calculating the amortization table. This here is the prepayment schedule for two payments. This has been Chapter 12. All of these slides can be found in the modules for your use as you see fit. Have a great 
day.